guessing if you have a thought of buying a new smartphone for this holiday season, you're probably looking at the Note 8 and the iPhone X if you don't have any budget, because those two are the well, most expensive and the most advanced smartphones. Hey guys, it's 24-7 Tech here, back with another comparison. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 with us and the iPhone X on the other side. Um, both of these devices are very nice, very expensive, and very unique in their own ways. But if we put them head to head, how will they compare? Let's watch the video to find out. Um, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is definitely margin way more bigger than the iPhone X. As the iPhone X is only a 5.8 inch display and the bezel sticks out to every corner of the screen, including the bottom to both sides, but it only has a little cutout at the top. So you're basically getting an all screen phone on the iPhone X. Now on the Samsung Galaxy Note side, a very tiny bezel on the top and the bottom, which is like a normal formal look on a phone. Um, both of these devices look great. And these, one of the reasons people are really, um, people really like the Note is because it, ev the Note series actually altogether is because of the S Pen. It's very nice and very convenient to take notes, to do it normally. Um, but we can, we can get into some other stuff now. Um, now the Note 8 has a dual lens system, the first for Samsung in their Note or S series. Um, the iPhone X also has a dual lens system, which is uh, vertical, while the Note 8 is horizontal. iPhone X takes away the fingerprint scanner. Apple is just going, uh, go, taking everything out. Headphone jack, cut. Fingerprint sensor, cut. Home button, cut. Well, the home button is just like, no. Nah. Really, though, they actually did take out the home button. The Nova has an on-screen home button. This, you have to swipe up a gesture, and it's really confusing. The traditional home button would be way more convenient than the huge, thick dock at the at the bottom. Um, it's all screen. The 5.8 inch Super Retina OLED display is amazing on the iPhone X. But the Note 8 still has the crown for the display, even though Samsung itself gave iPhone X display panel. The Note 8 still has a better display with a whopping 6.3 inch 2960 by 1440 resolution, while the iPhone X sort of slacks at a 2436 by something display for 5.8 inches. But um, Apple's True Tone really is good. It really is cool. True blacks, high contrast, high brightness, very nice. True depth camera on the front also. And it has face ID to replace touch ID, but really face ID, like you have to get a little used to it. Like fingerprint sensing was very standard, very com convenient, very compatible, and like the, it's like that. But iPhone X does come with its perks. It also, in it also includes wireless charging now, um, just like the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, or even the S6 for that case. Um, it's basically, um, now, f and it enables fast charging, but you need to get, like, a $85 altogether thing for that. For Apple Pay, you now can use Face ID, and the true depth camera is very nice, because you can take portrait mode selfies with portrait lighting, which is natural light, studio light, contour light stage light and s stage light mono and uh, so many things like that it's very nice in the front facing camera too so camera wise in the front facing camera i would give it to the iphone x um the back camera also has portrait lighting and um an emoji in the front in the true that camera aka okay. when i say true that that means the front facing camera dual 12 megapixel cameras on the iphones look amazing like the pictures are actually nice so camera wise the um iphone x would win in this comparison actually because in dxo margin the note 8 and the iphone 8 plus were tied and the iphone x is going to elevate to an even better level so yeah an optical zoom is 10 times for photos and six times for videos now so that's even better a11 bionic is the fastest i mean the most powerful and smartest chip in a smartphone 600 billion operations per second 
And though it only comes with 3 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, the iPhone X still takes the crown for the um, processor area. Um, Galaxy Note 8 comes with 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, but has nowhere up to the um, capacity and performance as the iPhone X. Um, I'd say the iPhone X takes camera and process. Well, camera, I'd say it was a tie. Processor, iPhone X takes it. And display, the Note 8 takes it. And features-wise, they both tie up. The face ID is one, and emoji is another one. Nice display, everything together. You will not be disappointed by taking any of this phone, these phones. But the Note 8 is at $920 and the iPhone X at $1,000. Which is a lot, and the Note 8 comes with a hundred dollar AKG earphones, and the Apple, uh, iPhone, Apple's iPhone X don't come with smelly old AirPods. So yeah, I mean, I Samsung's probably gonna give more perks to you and more. There's probably gonna be more deals on the Note 8 than the iPhone X. But if I would pick one, um, I wouldn't pick any of these. These are to both are too expensive for my liking. They are very nice phones, so I have to pick one. I can't pick one. Both of these are a tie. But in initiative gestures and everything, which makes up the iPhone X, I'd say the iPhone X win this wins this battle because it's just more exciting. The Note 8 just looks bland because the S8 and the S8 Plus took so much shine at the beginning of the year. Everyone wanted one now. It's the iPhone's turn. It's iPhone X. Samsung and Apple have been actually really nice in the smartphone market this time, this year, in 2016. 2016 was just, no, the Note 7 exploding, the iPhone 7 taking out the headphone jack, big controversy, controversy, everything good went haywire, Google got, Google's Pixel was a big hit, and this is 24-7 tech signing out. Subscribe up there and like down. See you next time.